Uh, today, uh, I'm trying to talk about analytics and uh, error tracking for games. So there's no update to my game uh, visually, but I have integrated uh, my game with four different services and I'm going to show you how they work and how, how we can see things on their service. The first one is Microsoft Flip app. So basically, it's, it's more than an analytics service where you could actually run a and a server uh, with that uh, backend server and the multiplayer support and everything but they have analytics part i'm going to show you how, how that works and then uh, we have game analytics uh, which is a free uh, version it's like a google analytics for games uh, which is quite uh, interesting and it's totally free it's really hard to believe that but uh, that's that's the thing so then I'm talking about Mixpanel, which is a very popular uh, analytics uh, service, especially for the web and mobile products, but we, we can use that for gaming as well. And then uh, finally, we try to use Sentry. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to capture errors. I have already uh, integrated all these services uh, with my game. These all services has their own Unity package or integration. So then uh, the setup is pretty straightforward. Just go through, go through documentation and that's it. Right, let's say now we have uh, connected our uh, game uh, with these services and let's see how they looks like with the data. Okay, the first thing is uh, PlayFab. So here when you go to the OV section, uh, we can see some unique users and uh, API calls. Here we can see number of logins, new users and uh, there are a couple of things there. Currently, I don't have much uh, data to show you, but you can get an idea on how, how it looks like. And here we have a dashboard section. Basically, it's a, it's a, it's a similar uh, dashboard. We can uh, get some information around like new players and so on. And there's a way uh, we can send a lot of data into PlayFab and it's totally free. It doesn't matter how much amount of data you uh, send. It doesn't, it doesn't matter the number of users you have. Like currently it's 100K free for you when know, starting up, which is quite good. And then we have a data section. Basically, it will show you all the data. So we can query them and there are some uh, SQL-like uh, playground. So we can write some queries and, and extract data out of this and which is quite powerful. So then uh, game analytics, which is pretty interesting. For example, I go to real-time window and I, I can see some uh, data here. And it uh, looks like in the previous way. And there are some uh, other metrics like engagement, tracking and so on. And then uh, come to mix panel. Uh, this is the wonderful uh, solution. We can send a lot of data into mix panel and then we can create graphs and dashboards uh, out of that and which is powerful works, for example. So these are set up uh, charts or the data uh, I'm interested in right now because I want to see the total plays in my game and the total uh, plays per user and the completion ratio, start to finish of the game and the, uh, the, the, so the P90 of the score, the how, how people are scoring in my game. And this is, I can see all this information. And if I need, I can drill down based on the country, maybe with the region, you know, uh, there are so many things we can do. And this is really amazing. Uh, and with the error tracking, uh, game analytics also has a, like a very tiny uh, way to track errors. So it will show you errors in that case, which is quite useful. We get the total number of errors and uh, you can click on that, get some information. And uh, uh, of course, this is quite usable. Uh, so if, if you don't have anything, this is very important to have at least something like that. You can uh, see what's going on and try to fix that one. And then uh, we come to Sentry, uh, which is uh, like a will really uh, fully pledge uh, error tracking solution. So basically here I send an error. So I can go there and and uh, so I can see a lot of information like the, the the platform, GPU information and you know user information. I think user part I have we have to do something manually uh, right now because the Unity package is not that stable right now. Uh, we might have to change some something manually, but still we can track users and there are some device information and you know which is really amazing. Uh, to get it automatically because I, I don't need to do anything to track this information. So in my game, I definitely go with PlayFab because I want to like, uh, I want to like uh, use PlayFab for some other reasons. So definitely I'll use the analytics solution and the game analytics I'll, I'll keep using for a couple of uh, months maybe and try to see what they offer. And I definitely use uh, uh, Mixpanel uh, because I'm quite used to this solution and uh, it's, it's, it's really powerful. 
And but the problem is it's not free. Uh, you can start for free, but it's quite uh, small. And then uh, the the paid packages are really expensive. But they have a, like a startup package. Uh, basically, they provide 50k USD for one year, I guess. So then uh, you can use that within the product, and that's quite uh, useful. Uh, I have uh, taken that uh, package, and and yeah, then uh, I don't need to worry about the money right now. Okay, about Sentry, I think they have a free uh, plan uh, when you're starting up, I think, which is quite okay uh, when you're starting up, but I think their paid uh, plans are not that expensive, so, which is, which is okay. Right, so, yeah, I'm gonna use this for services for maybe a couple of months, and then I'll, 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 I'll do another review with, uh, with some more data and more feedback. And if you want to integrate these uh, solutions with your game, I added a blog post in the description so you can uh, go through the steps and, and try to set it up. Alright, uh, see you in some other day. Bye.